as you can see guys this is the redmi note 7 pro i have here like 6 gb 128 gb version and i will not use hd card method if you are using that use it and i recommend that only it will be like clean flash method and let me go into like let's see in this room yeah we have advanced restart button and i will go into recovery directly from here if you need to go like if you don't know this then you can go by pressing volume up and power button simultaneously then also you can go to recovery i am using here orange fox recovery the latest update has been received but i am using just one version folder i did not got that download link of the latest version i don't know the latest uh, recently received and let's go into wipe section and select dalvik catch a system vendor and data and swipe to wipe later this go into this files section and where are downloaded if you are using hd card then you need to select hd card i am using internal storage itself and here i need to select the latest firmware for violet in global 12.5.10 you can use old firmware also sometimes it will work but use the latest one always and let's see this one cherish os 3.3 here the rom zip file and swipe to flash it takes a little bit of time wait until it get flashed as you can see guys the rom has been flashed here after this there are like two methods if you are using like what if you are using like sd card you can go here and format data and type y s and select s and i am using the same one so i will go to files again and i will select this if kept disabler version 3 zip that's all later that i will go to reboot and system this is how the flashing method of cherish was 3.3 and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys and in this video i am going to discuss about this cherish os 3.3 all the bugs features available and the bgma gameplay also included battery life geek bench scores benchmark results everything will be explained so stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin the video <laughs> Hey welcome back to my new video guys this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel and this is Redmi Note Sampo with Android 12 version this is the official Cherish version 3.3 Android version 12 as you can see here and Cherish OS version 3.3 and it's the latest build guys which will come with 5th January 2022 latest security patch and the kernel user is 4.14.255 Ryzen kernel has been used November 16th build Ryzen kernel and this is the build number this is the latest like january 7th build date is available we got it on january 10th yesterday i just now flashed uh, two hours back and set up and out and played some of the bgma let's see in this video and i have been running the cpu throttling test as you can see for last five minutes this is the score available for this particular rom cherish was 3.3 on redmi note sample the maximum is 143 average is 138 and minimum is 117 and CPU throttle to 94% of its maximum performance and let's see the dialer you will get direct video call feature here that's not a problem and there is no call recording feature in this ROM and coming to styles and wallpapers you will get all the Android 12 wallpapers as you can see bloom those are included in this ROM you need not to worry even the wallpaper colors basic colors and themed icons dark theme app grid are given in this rom from 2 to 2 to 5 to 5 this so the icons are a little bit bigger size if you want you can make it small by default it's a big in size and coming to like google go camera is pre-installed in this rom all portrait mode video mode everything is working fine for basic things you can use this if you want something advanced then use the gcam ports also you can try out nx camera port if anyone tried it out do comment down in the comment section below such that others will understand that it's working in this rom 
and comment like Geekbench scores. Let me show you in this ROM, the Redmi Note 7 with Cherish OS 3.3. This is how the Geekbench score results. The single score is 485 and the multi score is 1373, which is good in my opinion. The kernel used here is, as I said, Ryzen kernel has been used in this ROM. And there was a one more video on Cherish OS 2.10 based on Android 11. You can check out here. That's different, and this is different the kernels are different even the versions are different and android version is also different and coming to speed test here like i have giga fiber connection geo i connected with 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi it's fine even carrier aggregation with mobile internet is also working there is no echo or anything in the speaker also in loudspeaker also working fine in this rom and regarding gps test also this how to run this app i don't know okay this also good even the maps i think everything is working fine i tested some of the maps also it's working fine and coming to drm info here level one certification such that you can watch all the ott applications in hd content i mean hd resolution you can watch all the content and those things are working fine whatsapp is also working fine in this room let's see the safety net status it get past as you can see you can use all the payment applications those things are going to be working fine without any problem and let's move into quick settings panel this is how the quick settings panel will look as you can see some of the options are given like this and i'll disable these things such that the battery life will increase okay close turn off the location okay airplane mode i turned on everything is working fine you can check out the toggles and i will turn off the sync also and dark theme this is how dark theme looks in the themed icons this is how and there is a power button underneath you will get advanced restart button directly you can go to recovery those things are given and into settings panel this is how simple settings in Android. you are getting that in dark mode it's not in pitch black condition maybe because of wallpaper what i set let me disable that and let's see the widgets of android 12. most of the people like those things also let me show you as you can see these are also working fine you can select some of the presets are available you can drag and you can even edit later also like this you can change here this are the widgets are also working fine let's move into settings and see apps you will get here default apps you can select here pixel launcher is the home launcher you will get you can select the default apps from here game settings is also given game dash mode do not disturb for games are given in this room special app access also you can check it from here in the cherish settings you get plenty of options like you can customize status bar plenty of options are given even you can customize the quick settings like lunar calendar show brightness slider and some of the options you can read here vibration on touch even in quick settings also you can enable or disable from here and coming to themes this is like something use custom color have been added they are mentioned in change logs check out dark theme icon shape also you can change signal also you can change from here and coming to buttons these are the options like music control reorient volume rocker wave keyboard cursor control on screen navigation bar layout show arrow keys while typing these things you can enable or disable from here and coming to animations you get animation style the, the, by default it's no animation you can change by flip or default and coming to lock screen settings you get double tap to wake on doze sleep always on display shadow lock screen sharing information even media art also you can enable or disable from here music visualizer is also given if you want you can use this lava lamp those settings are given in the lock screen settings in the power menu you will get this advanced restart options here you can check out emergency lockdown settings you can enable if you want those in restart buttons and coming to like now let's see the other settings what all been given in battery life is as i said it's fine the, this is not recorded for first boot after that it will be recorded it's fine the ideal battery drain is also very very low nothing like battery draining or like that but under 11 based cherish wise 
whole other 2.10 slightly giving me better battery life compared to this one this has very good performance compared to that one and some of the android 12 customizers Dif differentiate yourself which is important for you and flash those things or flash both of the things and decide which is good and in the sound and vibration every basic settings are given even me sound enhancer Dirac sound settings you can choose the headphone type and preset those are also included in the ROM and clear speaker is also added this is a new change log they have mentioned here in the accessibility menu you will get under 12 type of accessibility menu you can directly use volume up and down those things by using this toggle you can drag everything here if you want you can use anything from here without touching the volume buttons you can operate those things let me disable for time being vibration and haptics also you can enable or disable from here in security settings you get just fingerprint unlock there is no face unlock let me show you just tap unlock again again just tap unlock it's quick enough not the fastest but still it's quick enough and uh, let's see under the uh, this pill we can adjust or not into the settings and guest system gestures swipe to screenshot is there it's working fine and gesture settings length very good this is the first time i'm seeing in the android 12 and uh, touchable region for back gesture you can adjust here and this is a very good option given guys pill length you can adjust but still radius is not all but anyhow the length you can increase that's a very good thing i am saying in android 12 room this is the first thing i am saying in android 12 cherish os 3.3 very good room let's see without wasting time vgmi gameplay already match has been started let's me show you the graphic settings which is very good in this rom as you can see guys smooth plus 90 fps are given but i kept for extreme this is how the graphic settings are good it's very good guys you are getting smooth plus 90 fps but this display on redmi not simple only supports 60 fps obviously it's 60 fps screen gameplay is also smooth enough okay and speaker volume and there is a game mode also as you can see you can enable fps let me see okay fps is live count you can see here i'm not it's not easy to play for me like this just see the results don't judge my gameplay someone back side very good guys this is a very good gaming rom you can say there is fps count live is available okay there are four people okay i'll come back it's fine 
the experience was good with this rom the cherish os 3.3 you can definitely try it out as a gaming rom also i hope i have explained everything this is how you can select the text and take screenshot from here this is the under tall feature all are included in this rom and that's all guys in this video i hope i explained everything and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now